Hey guys, Dan with Third Eye Cyborg here. In this video, I'm going to be explaining what Third Eye Cyborg is, what we're currently doing, and what content to expect from us in the future. Let's get into this. All right, so first off, Third Eye Cyborg was started as just a platform to kind of explain how to tie these new higher technologies coming out for the general public together to produce quality products at record time. So we're really just trying to explain how to, if you want like an application built and you're just a developer by yourself and you don't have any venture capitalist money or loans or anything like that or a team, how can you do that? Well, it would be immensely more challenging even five, 10 years ago. And um, that's because a lot of platforms have been emerging from a movement called no code, pro code, low code, and code optional. So basically we're trying to show you how to tie these platforms together and use them to actually get you your products out. And, and a lot of these platforms only focus on certain aspects of the process. So really understanding how they all work together is where the magic comes in our opinion. There are a lot of uh, new things happening in the technology industry and it's allowing the public availability to amazing tools. Some of them uh, we cover in the channel like Flutterflow.io and uh, Rowey.io and they utilize Firebase to just produce really quality applications really quickly and just amazing platform. And they're making headway every day. Like every week they release crazy new things and at least thus far. And it's been a very, very awesome journey to go through that with them. I love it because it lets you have your source IP for your code. So all your code belongs to you and everything and you can host it on github but at the same time they they shrink the development time and they make it a fun and enjoyable process now a lot of the times if you're trying to start some big uh digital pursuit you're trying to like create an application or something like that and have it facing towards lots of customers or lots of people um it used to be, and it still is, a very difficult task. It used to take teams and stuff though. And and recently a lot of innovation has happened in that area and it's reduced the amount that you of resources you need to do this. So for instance, you can couple Flutterflow with Rowey and those two platforms, and that's flutterflow.io and Rowey.io can really do a lot to um, kind of just give you a ton of what you need for that application right out of the box. And then to customize it and get it all like you like it, it's perfect. And to build it on top of Firebase with all of those uh, functionalities and stuff, it's just, it, it, it makes it immensely better time just developing these applications. And, um, it really brings it into the area of the general public, I believe, because almost anybody can do this. And I prefer, like I, I learn the languages that go along with these platforms so that I can customize, maintain them afterwards, uh, very cheap and easy. But that's what Third Eye Cyborg is really trying to do is to, to, to tie all these together, to show you how to do it cheap, post your site off Firebase, get it all done um, really cheap. And that's just one tech stack. Now, if you wanted to not be on Google and not be on Firebase, there's other choices for that coming out as well, like Teta.so and Clutch.io and um, Supabase.io. And th those are just to name a few, but um, there's tons of other platforms. And like we build all of our static sites with Webflow and then we host them either on Firebase or GitHub pages. Um, and this is just because it's free hosting on there. Um, now there's a lot of nuances and details to it. And that's what Third Eye Cyborg really tries to tie you in to tell you about. Like we, uh, to handle all your compliance and stuff like that, 
like we use uh, Ayubinda and they are just great. We also go into kind of just the details on how to use these, uh, to leverage these different platforms into a full-fledged product that you can deliver yourself without any investors or anything like that. So that's what we're really about is just giving the power to the common person. And while I, you can do a lot of this without knowing how to program or anything about programming languages or code, it's definitely recommended that you learn the languages if you don't already know them uh, along the way and that you practice them and that you get better at them if you do know them. And the reason why is because quite often these platforms allow you to use custom code where you can interject code. Also, it's really good for code quality checks to know how, how it all works. So it's in no way, I don't think, a, a bypass on programming. It just allows a programmer and a single developer to do amazingly monumental tasks very quickly. And it's through the power of automation and AI and a lot of other things that go into that. But we can use that now as a platform, as a foundation to kind of give us these superpowers to create these amazing cross app, uh, platform applications and not just uh, cross platform applications. Now, we also go into quantitative trading strategies. Um, there is also the area and the topics of data science and machine learning that we go into. We, we are going to be delving into blockchain and Web3 and all of that. And so uh, a lot of these platforms are really, they're, they're seeping into all of these technological branches though. Um, and you're starting to see no code platforms, low code platforms, all of that coming out everywhere. And what we're trying to do is take these platforms and use them in a way where you could just get your products out super fast. And whether that be a machine learning endpoint, whether that be whatever, we're trying to learn these, these platforms, figure out how they can connect to, to each other in the best ways possible to produce the product that you want. So we like to teach this in a way where uh, we build out the application or whatever the solution is. Sometimes it's like a machine learning endpoint. Sometimes it'll be a quantitative finance algorithm. Sometimes it will be a data science competition submission. Um, so it's just always different. We even want to go into blockchain and stuff in the future. But the point being is that we want to build these out completely production ready, get them in the markets to show you that you can do it too. And then we want to explain how we did that. And I think that that's super important nowadays because a lot of these platforms are coming out and they're showing how to do it and everything and how they all work, but they don't really show how you can connect it all together and build these beautiful products just with, with yourself or a small team. And I think that that is super awesome and we're going into a new age of development and it's gonna affect us all, I think, but that's just my opinion. And, um, and learning how to leverage all of this for yourself and for for the benefit of what you're trying to create and your goals is going to be paramount to seeing it finished quicker and to see everything realized in a way that doesn't take a ton of resources, doesn't take a ton of investment, doesn't take a ton of time to where you can try these ideas out quickly and see if they work without, you know, um, devoting too much to them. And the great thing about a lot of these platforms is they allow you to keep your IP, they allow you to keep every part of it, and you can run it for very cheap on different platforms if you choose. So like uh, we teach how to run our static pages. We host them on GitHub pages and Firebase. And depending on the different type of project and we build them on Webflow, and it's a very cheap, it's free to host on GitHub pages and Firebase and Webflow is very cheap uh, if you're just using it to build the web websites and then export them. So it's a very uh, reasonable way to get a lot of websites out there and not have to pay a lot of money and do it pretty easily. So 
that is also what we're interested in how to do this all but how to do it in a reasonable amount of time and a reasonable budget in a way that it can scale both with the customers and the amount of people that are using your applications but also with the amount of applications you can produce and so uh, that is really just an introduction to the channel and what we're doing and none of this is to be taken as professional advice this is all just my opinions for entertainment purposes and also um, this is not an endorsement advertisement or promotion for any of the products that were uh, brought up inside of this video so i hope you guys enjoy this uh, i can't wait to give you more videos and we're going to be rolling out some great content around all of these areas also our patreon is uh back up it was down for a while it kind of fizzled out because at the time we weren't producing enough content for both patreon and our uh, free content that we produce on youtube medium and anchor which goes to uh, all of the respective podcast platforms um that anchor deals with which is spotify apple music google music all those ones so um our google podcast but anyways, uh, yeah, we got that going again and you can join. And what that really is, is about being part of the experience. You can help us choose ideas on what we're going to be doing next, ask questions. You can get help on your projects if they pertain to the technologies we're covering. And it's really just a way to interact with us more and to be a part of the community as well as supporting us. Um, we do produce some content that we do not release. Um, on our free streams as well for our patrons and you get that vip chat room with the discord and the other thing is you can always support us by buying merch or donating directly on our website but yeah uh we love creating this content and getting it out to you guys and demonstrating these different platforms and how to use them um otherwise don't stop coding your mind and i'll see you next time